I, I had this thought because yesterday I went to Walmart to get something else and I saw these tubes of tiny Skittles. And my first thought was a video of seeing how many of those I can fit in my mouth versus how many normal Skittles. Stupid video, I know, but I'm kind of interested. <laughs> and I like Skittles. So I filmed some shots where I put them in my shopping cart, shopping trolley, call it. Because people seem to love that on TikTok, like the clip of just one thing going into the shopping cart. Anyway, as I was filming it, I noticed my shoes in the bottom of the shot. And I started thinking about how I have these Shrek Crocs. And the whole reason I bought them was to add into videos as like a weird thing. And so I think after the gym now, I'm going to go refilm it and make sure the Shrek, the Shrek Crocs, <laughs> Croc Shrek, just, you know what I mean, are in the video. And I think those kind of things really add to people commenting. Also, they're funny, but I'm not looking forward to walking around in them just look like a flipping donkey. Get it? That's a good one. That was a good one. I remember when filling up this car it was like maybe $25. We're up at 50 at the moment. Although in England, this would cost you flipping way more. You'd have to sell a kidney. Dang, dude. So mad. There's a guy waiting to fill up his car, his tires were there. Come on. Oh good, you were recording. <laughs> I was worried I hadn't pressed it. All right, let's go, Jim. See you in Walmart in, in a nippy. Just want to clarify, I don't know what a nippy means. That's, I've never used that phrase before, so. Just so we're on the same page, okay. So I'd say these things here, geez, look at the state of these, are the little tips and tricks that you learn as a creator. Like you just see them over time, unless you know, you're smart enough to realize that things like this would get people's attention. God, look at the state of these. What an embarrassment. <laughs> The friggin' ears kept getting, keep getting caught on each other. Those are so horrific. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's go and do this. And so, coming straight back in. Okay. <laughs> Just grabbing a cart. I returned something, that's how I forgot the cart. The trolley. Morning again. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just like, you know, confident enough or if I'm a flipping weirdo. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. The Skittle section's right here. So if I film my, yeah, I think if I, but I just need to make sure I get the crocs in the shot. Get the ears sorted. Lovely. All right. There we go. So they were pretty well in the shot. And then I'll do the same again with the, the minis, whatever. What am I talking about? M&M &M minis. So same shot basically. Like that looks such looks so nice. But probably just straight red 40, not red 40, blue 40. Okay, and that concludes this trip. All right, I think starting the day off strong. We've had a good gym session. We've edited the previous video for YouTube. And now we've got lots of TikTok stuff to shoot and clear up, which is 
it's funny. I don't know if you probably, you may look at all this work that I have to do and be like, oh God, that seems like so much. But to me, it doesn't seem like a crazy amount because it's enjoyable. Like I just enjoy doing that stuff. Which I know is weird because my, my wife thinks the same thing. So like coming home from England, I'm so excited to get back in and working. Hang on, I'm gonna flip you around. Like I, I know it's weird to, to want to come back to work. Which I imagine is what most people see this. You know what? They probably don't. They think content creation isn't real work. <laughs> Which is fine. <laughs> it's fine! Oh, gosh. I have to remember that I'm choosing not to edit these things out. <laughs> yeah, so to me, it's like doing a hobby. I mean, I've been, the crazy thing is I've been doing this for eight years, making videos, and I've tried so many different things to see what works. And while I was trying to play the algorithm game, I, so, I can't use that term anymore. <laughs> It's so weird to think. What, what? I forgot what I was trying to say now. I fell in love with the process. Basically it. Like, it's a pretty stupid thing to say, isn't it? Come on, boys. Oh, yeah. Chev the 2016 Chevy Malibu doing work. Basically Vin Diesel behind the wheel. So seeing as though I didn't do any work, call it work, while I was away for the past six days. You know, I filmed a video on the way and then on the way back. And now I have so much to do. Like on a quick deadline. I don't regret it because I really, it took me a long time to be able to switch off from one thing to another. So by that, I mean switch off from making content and constantly thinking about content so that I can spend time with family and be 100% there with family. It took me a long time to learn to be able to do that. I believe it's, it's a skill that you learn just through experience. and it allows you to be 100% engaged in whatever it is you're doing. I think that's probably one of my favorite skills that I've learned to do. It's hard, don't get me wrong, like if you're wanting or thinking about wanting to do that. It's tough and it will take a lot of time. But I f actually I find that just not having a phone on you really helps. Because like I would be at a point where I would constantly, like I'd think of something and then I would take the time to write it down and then I'd add more comments to it. And then I'd think about it some more. But actually now, I don't have my phone on me. So like I was telling my dad the other day, because he's like, you're useless at replying. It take you, might, might take you two days sometimes. I was like, well, as soon as I'm done with work, I basically don't touch my phone until we go to bed. And even then I don't, I'm not, I don't like being on my phone in bed. I also don't like texting them at what, you know, when they're six hours ahead. I don't want to wake them up in the middle of the night. Mate, it says to drive at 25 at this time, not flipping 17. Oh, I, I jumped back on last night to, well, I just started recording as I like checked through the edit that I sent off to the client. Not the edit, the script. And I just, I think I just, I forgot to talk through my process. I just was just stuck in. <laughs> and so I filmed like 20 minutes of video of me basically just working at the computer. I mean, I, did, I think I did, I didn't even screen record it either. <laughs> so, uh, like part of me wants to show that I did go back and look through the script. And the other part of me is like, why would I even put that in the video when there's no value for you guys to get from it? 
not that there's much value in the rest of it. I mean, like, right now, kind of just me babbling. <laughs> you know, I have this idea in my mind that if anyone's ever going to watch this, it would be that, well, I guess you are just got it playing on your phone while you eat, while you are at the gym, just listening while you drive, you know, like on your lunch break or something. <laughs> You know, some, like, easy listening instead of some hardcore. I don't even know. We might have no one watching or listening. Probably for the best. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go see the missus and Rugies. Best part of the morning. I was going to take a drink and then very casually be like, I know what you're thinking for a, a guy as muscly as I am. What's, what kind of protein do I use since this is a protein shake? And I was gonna be like, I linked it below so I can, you know, if you buy it, I get a commission from it. I mean, it is below, but uh, also, <laughs> uh, the, I sent the script off, script off for the Anchor Charger partnership video. We got the feedback this morning and I've, this, I guess this is kind of like a sharing point. I'm the creator, right? I'm the person, you know, I put this in quotes, who, who's, who knows what they're doing with their job. Like when you pay a roofer to come and do your roof, you don't then, you know, tell them how to do it. They're meant to be experienced enough that they can take what needs to be done and just go and get it done. And I feel the same way in content creation. I feel like I wouldn't be as useful to the brand if I didn't share my reasons why I chose certain decisions. Like these are all the things that I've learned over all the failures that I've made. So when they come back with suggestions, they obviously want their project product front and center. And I'd say, I'd, honestly, I'd say 90% of people you speak to on the brand or the agency side don't understand how something like TikTok works. Like that's not their job. Their job is to market a product and the typical way of marketing a product is you show everyone the specifications and the features and wow it's going to do this but on TikTok people just want entertainment they don't want to be sold to they don't want to feel like they're being sold to so they had a couple of suggestions they brought back that I disagree with and I have rationale as to why I chose them to do a certain way and so it's about explaining the back and forth of that and why I feel like this would work. But also, you're playing the, g the game of you're talking with a person you don't want them to feel like you're overpowering them. Uh, so it's a bit of a compromise, a give and take. But uh, when you, if, you're, if you're trying to do content, as you start out, you, won't, you most likely won't know what the line is between knowing exactly how you want a video to be and them trying to get more of the product in the video. And so you'll end up making a video that's less true to your typical style or what you wanted because you feel like because they're paying, you need to do exactly what they want. When actually they're paying for you to make a video in your style or way because that's what you do, that's what gets views. Um, what am I doing here? Jinkies. Lila, can you stop, please? Wookie dog. Overall, it was actually a pretty good email from them, and it gave me a chance to share why my style of video makes sense. Like, the primary goal is to entertain someone, and then you put a product inside of that storyline so the viewer doesn't feel like they're being sold to, and they're just enjoying the story that they're watching. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's what I think. Yes. So we'll see what comes back from that. But it's kind of annoying because it means, like, I wanted to film that today and get it done, but I can't. So, excuse me. <laughs> we should, we'll work on the Healy's video. So let me... Let me, let me, let me, let me get that sorted. Uh, and you know what? Let me just reply to these texts. Lila, you can't go out there because you just bark like a weirdo. 
They're going to be here all day for the next few days. You're going to have to get used to it. Yeah. Now come here. Up. Hi, Duda. You going to say hi? What's that? Oh, okay. No, we're going to get down. All right. Good girl. Yeah, let me, let me just... All I want to do right now, for some reason, is just is just whack on some Fortnite. For some reason, that's just like, get me some of that. I've got things to do. It's, it's like an hour ago, I was just explaining how this is fun to me. Fortnite's also fun. <laughs> I'm 32. I got it wrong the other day, I'm not 33, I'm 32. <laughs> and I like Fortnite. That's like in the 90s coming out of the closet. God, I shouldn't say that. Someone's going to try and... Someone's going to get upset. Not meant to be upsetting. <laughs> All right, Healy's video. Let's move over here. So it's bought, been about a year since I bought a new pair of Crocs and I forgot how comfortable they were like the first few times I bought them. It's the, because I'm trying to wear these ones in, it's the little dimples in here that make them so comfortable to begin with. It's like, a, it's like the needle mat on your feet, but it's comfy. All right, so the video is Healy's Airport. All right, I just went through the comments and people really liked the, oh, bro, I need a 360 for my haircut. So you can, here it is. <laughs> Whoa. You know what? I know, I get it. I'll wait till I get it cut again and I'll do another one of those. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need a cut in the next week or so. So, all right. Uh, people really liked the idea of, enjoying yourself so fun over looking or being cool so I think we're going to play back into that um, you know I've actually been talking with my manager this morning and he has watched all the YouTube videos all of them there's like five <laughs> but they're long but he watched those and he said overall I like it the kind of like playfulness how you are but I think you could do with more confidence in what you do which is like the content creation space. And it's interesting because this, like making a TikTok video, I'm very confident in. Um, the process of thinking it through and getting this laid out, I'm very confident in. But talking it through is like, it's the first time I've really done it. So that is quite challenging to me, the, like this whole process. I mean, normally I just, I might, I might stare at this for a couple of minutes, like 20 minutes. Not sure what to do, so I'll just sit back in the chair, kick back and stare at it for another 20 minutes until, <laughs> until it all comes to me. So, uh, yeah, we're just, I guess we're kind of just seeing where this goes. But as far as what's actually going into each of these points to make the video, I'm very confident in. And that just comes from all the failures and the experience that I've been through. Let's underline that because it definitely needs to be underlined, not that I'm procrastinating. All right, so we know the video is about having fun over looking cool and that works in really well because of the dude that accosted me as soon as I got to the airport. I was <laughs> accosted. He was really nice. Like He was like, dude, are those Heelys? Hell yeah, man. I don't know if he was wasted. He might have been wasted, but, but he was having fun. There we go. Okay, so... My floor, self-conscious. Oh gosh, I don't know if that's how you spell it, but it's okay. So I'm self-conscious, but by the end, my strength is that 
I enjoyed it. No, because that's not the opposite. But so, what's the opposite of self-conscious? You don't care what other people think. Let's put confidence. Self-confidence. Okay. So we have our reason, but we don't really have our reason. Why? Why do I want to do it? Let's say I just bought Heelys. I tried them out and I want to practice more. So the want is new Heelys and See, here's, I'm wondering, do we go deep into the fact that I know I'm self-conscious and I want to be more self-confident, more confident? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like this is right to get into something that deep because wearing Heelys through an airport is just a stupid thing to do, right? No. I mean, yeah, I, yes, I think that. <laughs> Whoops. But I also think we can achieve the setup once, which helps the viewer know that the video is progressing. If we, um, like a, a challenge of doing it with luggage. And challenge with Yeah, so we'll set up our hook to go through the airport. And our first challenge is I enjoyed it, but can I do it with luggage? The point of no return is that I think it'd be a really great place. I, I, the interaction with that guy I think is so good, so powerful, that I want to get it in as soon as possible but I think it fits better. Like I try it with the suitcase in the parking lot. Let's say parking lot. Healing, is that what we say? Parking lot healing and the catch is uh, super difficult. Where's this pose? <laughs> um, not sure if I can do it in front of people. Oh yeah, this is good. And then that leads into as soon as I get off the bus. So get off bus. Result is guy says hell yeah. So then that's building up confidence a little bit. All right, so we build up confidence. And then we do uh, going through airport. People in queue watching. Uh, go past large Q. But not like I'm saying that people are watching me, but nothing really happens. But then I, so the banana here, I'm just, it's come to my mind, race against. Dude, yeah, I like that. Because like the climactic choices are change, shoes, stop, or keep practicing. Okay. Go through the airport and go past a large queue with people watching 
Now, when you think airport, you think, I feel like you think less about the actual airport space as it is, and you think more about a plane. So I'm wondering if I need to put in something about the plane, but nothing really much happened. The only major clip is that I did it down the aisle. Maybe that's the finale. Like, so here I can manipulate the story because everything up to this point happened before I even got on the first flight. And then this section here happened after I got off the first flight. But then going down the aisle on Healy's didn't happen. That was after I was coming off of the first flight. But we can, like, I feel like just you know, since we're making something, we can move these bits around. Um, get off bus, go past large queue with people watching. Um, going through, going to gate, which is where I fall over. And I start to question like, should I stop? Or should I keep practicing? And then I decide to race against a dude. This is flippant. This is it. Uh, but I, so here's where this is something that I'm not sure about on social media is to me, this whole flow shows that I'm not confident. And then I get to a place of confidence because I've decided to have a race against some guy rather than stopping after I've just fallen over in front of people. But that requires the viewer to really understand and see that I have gained in, in, my self-confidence has improved. But I, like from my experience, I've seen that like from the comments and how well the video is done, the comments don't show a call out of like, that that change that improvement whereas if i make it much more apparent there definitely seems to be an increase of comments and viewership as the viewer feels like they're more ingrained in watching the main character me improve or like change from the floor to the strength throughout the story but i really like this i think Yes. I think we start scripting this now. I'm quite happy with that. Ooh, ooh, chicka, 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 ooh, ooh. Sorry, Lila, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yalla, yalla. Okay. I don't know what that means. I just watched, I watched Kandahar on the plane back. And I think they said that. I don't know. All right, let's... Start scripting. You probably want the screen, don't you? All right, let's put in the floor is that. Why aren't you taping? There we go. I'm self conscious. I did spell it right. Good. Self conscious, and then I become self confident. Right. For the hook, I was thinking we go with, I just had it in my mind. I'm going to see if Healy's are a cheat code for airport travel. Yeah, I'm gonna see if Healy's are a cheat code for airport travel. So then this is for the setup one. So yesterday I tried them for the first time. Let's look at one of my other scripts. Uh, let's do the needle mat. Dude, this series was flamey. Acupunk, there we go. So day three. 
Yesterday I made my way through the pain, but riddle with ADHD, I couldn't turn my mind off. So my plan for day three is to remove distractions. Okay. Yesterday I tried them for the first time and after learning the technique, what is that spelling, is to pretend you're sliding in socks. Now, after learning the technique is to pretend you're sliding in socks, I practiced for today. So I is to pretend you're sliding in socks. So I'm going to lie on it again for 20 minutes to gain mind control. So I'm, I tried them for the first time and after learning their technique is to pretend you're sliding in socks. And after learning the technique is to pretend you're sliding in socks. I could roll like a king, even though my wife said something, and I'll pick that from the other video. So that's actually the reason. And then the one in here. Yesterday I tried them for the first time, and after learning the technique is to pretend you're sliding in socks. And after learning the technique, and after learning the technique to pretend you're sliding in socks, I think I should reference here the feeling that I got since people like jumped onto that. I'll have the clip of like Shay talking to me. A clip of Shay talking to me and my response of having fun. Right. Okay, so then, I mean, that shows that I'm, I think, yeah, I think that gets a really good point across. And the want, but if I was going to survive the airport, I needed to Yes, but if I was going to survive the airport, I needed to really challenge myself before. I can actually, so normally I split out the setup once, point of no return and stakes. But I think if you can get it all across in a much more concise manner, that's, I think that's a really good thing. But if I was going to survive the airport, I needed to really challenge myself. I think, is it self-consciousness or not particularly confident? But if I was going to survive the airport, I need to really challenge myself. If I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I needed to really challenge myself before healing in front of an audience. If I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I needed to really challenge myself before healing in front of an <whistles> Lila. Hey, that's enough. Thank you. <laughs> but if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I needed to really challenge myself before healing in front of an audience. and risking what little confidence I do have. I built up from practicing yesterday. Yes. See, so my manager and I have continued this discussion 
And it wasn't so much that he's saying, you don't seem very confident about this. It's more in the potentially awkward scenarios, be more confident in what you're doing. Essentially, really don't care what anyone thinks and just go and do it. And I, it's so interesting because like, I feel confident in what I do, but I still find it very awkward to do those things in public. Like I'll do it, I'll put myself in those positions, but I, I do feel awkward. And I've realized that, you know, I could be, I could just pretend to be more confident, but I think I actually do need to work on that. Like personally, I also think it's funny that <laughs> I'm, I have this like, is it self doubt or I don't like being the center of attention. I think that's what it is. Like I can do these things like going and healing in, healing in an airport. The fact of just going to do it, I think is a pretty confident thing, but being confident while you're doing it, I think is a completely other ball game. And I personally think it's kind of funny to like, do I think it's funny or is that a coping mechanism? Here we go down the rabbit hole. But I would like to be, you know, more confident in public. And I realized that actually maybe that's something that I want to improve on. That while I can push myself to go out of my comfort zone, I need to be more confident in being out of my comfort zone. Comfort zone. Comfort zone. Dang, boy. We have a little life goal that we've, we've worked out here. Okay. All right, so can't do it in front of people. We get off the bus. So process one is I think we, we, from here, we have a comment about doing it with bags, right? To kind of then merge it into the next part. Because I, like, while I'm saying this, I'm trying it in the car park and I'm getting used to it. So then we need something to close off that little loop there. That I can do it with the bags. But now I'm going into the next loop of, you know, what if people see me doing it? Yes. What are my comments about doing it with bags? Because that could. So I'm going to work on a fat sweat before I even get to the airport. Yes, I like this. Instead of a comment about doing it with bags, we actually go straight into uh, me skating, saying I'm a pro. So what's, is there a lead up to that? All right, first ride. All right, first ride. All right, first ride. And then it's me skating, saying I'm a pro. Skating, I'm attention I'm a pro then we have Healy dude Heli dude Healy dude conversation see I could loop in here the like the vest thing that I had the like passport holder and that could kind of link into the next video since Yes. I f comment about me feeling like an idiot. Someone said this goes over your top shirt. I think it's going to look horrific. Look at that. Then that goes around your waist. I was like, you know, I don't want to look a like a complete plonker here. But honestly, I think the TVs do enough. So nothing else really matters. The point that I was like, you know, I don't want to look like a like a complete plonker here, but honestly, I think the Heelys do enough. 
I like that line, but I don't think it's fast enough for TikTok. It's not fast pace enough, especially with the rest of the video. It's tough to experiment. Like I would like to experiment with putting that clip in, but from experience so far, it just doesn't do well. Skating, I'm a pro, Healy dude, in the conversation. Um, oh yeah. That's a, so that's a boost in my confidence. With Healy dude giving me a massive confidence boost. I whacked on my lighters, okay. The my trendy passport holder. I think I'm gonna reword that. My trendy passport holder. I make a comment here. So nothing else really matters. Honestly, I think the Heelys do enough. So I don't want to look like a like a complete plonker here. That doesn't. Does that go in there? Could go in there. Right. Oh, that doesn't sit very well. Bring a check back here. I can never check in on you because of my green card. Thank you. What are you going to do? Uh, I am going to Heathrow. With Healy, dude, giving me a massive confidence boost. I whacked on my trendy passport holder. See, this is where you have the experience and you wonder how much of the experience do you need to include. So do I need to include anything about like the check-in process, showing the healing there, or just go straight into, I think I just go straight into the next confidence test of going past large queues of people. With Healy dude giving me a massive confidence boost I plucked up courage to Healy right in front of. Yes, okay, I think at this point we can, we can start to hype up the risk of a fall because we do it eventually build up to that. I mean, it's coming right after. With Healy dude giving me a massive confidence, confidence boost I plucked up the courage to Healy in front of the huge. I. With Healy, do give me a massive confidence boost. I put my. I was able to put my. What's a, what's a synonym for, not synonym, antonym. Antonym for confident. Insecure. No, I was able to put my fear of falling Aside and Healy in front of the huge queues for security, kind of relatability into like relating it back to being at the airport, kind of helping that. I feel like in my mind, I don't need to add the huge queues for security, but I think I want to add that back in because I want the viewer to remember that they're watching someone Healy at an airport, which is a stupid thing to be doing. Do you need to go out, Lila? Lila, do you need to go out? Yeah, okay, I'll take that jump as a yes. Okay, <laughs> one second, and we're off. Right, with Healy do give me a massive confidence boost, I was able to put my fear of falling aside and Healy in front of the huge queues for security. But feeling overconfident, but that, that confidence grew too much and disaster struck as I, but that confidence grew too much and disaster struck as I, f 
as I do I need to be put made my way to the gate? But that confidence became arrogance. And the Heelys put me back in my place as I fell at my gate, surrounded by all the people I would spend the next eight hours with. Hell yeah. I like that a lot. So then we have the climactic choice. Hmm. No, okay. Yeah, so here's what I'm thinking. I mentioned like how the story is kind of slotted in different places, but I really like here how I've, I like how I've done this. It's, it's really good. Good job, Oliver. <laughs> so I say that I fell over at the gate. I could just say I fell over on the way to my gate or somewhere else, but then I don't get to add in the added, uh, like feeling that someone might get that they now have to spend the next eight hours with those very same people. I really like that aspect there. So I think I spent, I spent my whole flight questioning if I should give up the Heelys or keep practicing. But the confidence from Healy Dude, with Healy Dude, but with, with Healy Dude, it's a synonym for ingrained. I just typed in ingrained. <laughs> Ten fifth grade reading level synonyms for ingrained. Oh, it's ingrained. That's good. Maybe ingrained isn't the word I'm looking for. Like I'm trying to say he's stuck in my mind. I'll just put that. But with Healy Dude, stuck in my mind. Going round in my head. I'm trying to say here that that interaction that I keep thinking back to has now given me enough confidence to race against this other dude. But with the inspiration of Healy dude going round in my head, I Okay, let's see the clip for this. Here, red bag. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, this guy doesn't know it. Over here, red bag. But I'm racing him. This guy doesn't know it. I think we just go into that quote. And then we have the result of that. Absolutely destroyed him. Do I I'd say absolutely destroyed him? flight questioning if I should give up the Heelys or keep practicing. But with the inspiration of Healy dude going round in my head, so I, I don't think inspiration is the right word here. I think it should be confidence. I understand that the undertone 
is that I'm now confident enough to go and challenge a guy. But I think I think it really needs to be said. I spent the whole flight questioning if I should give up the Heelys or keep practicing. But with Healy dude going round in my head, my confidence was so high, nothing could stop me. Right, then we have the banana. Absolutely destroyed him. Yeah. That is flamebo. We like that. All right, let's get recording. Stop you for now. I have this overwhelming desire to just take this off of here and just hold it like this. I feel like that's what, that's like a podcast thing to do. Goom. All right, let's record. I'm going to see if Heelys are a cheat code for airport travel. These are my Heelys, and I'm going to see if they're a cheat code for airport travel. That's me in Heelys trying to see if... That's me in Heelys trying to see if they're a cheat code for airport travel. <laughs> Yesterday I tried them for the first time, and after learning the technique to pretend you're sliding in socks. But if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I needed to really challenge myself before... Fe but if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I needed to really. But if I, but if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I needed to really challenge myself before healing in front of an audience and risking what little confidence I had built up from practicing yesterday. With Healy Dude giving me a massive confidence boost, I was able to put my fear of fate. With Healy Dude giving me a massive confidence boost, I was able to put my fear of failing aside and Healy in front of the huge queues for security. But that confidence became arrogance. What am I doing? I can normally film this in front of the camera so that I can have a clip of me. Yeah, let's, let's do that. You know, I'm just going to skip the next bit until we get to it. Yeah. What am I doing? I, why am I finding this so difficult to work out? So I need this camera to have decent audio, but I don't want this to be in it. So if I don't want this, what if we, should we see how, I think this is going to give it too much of a professional look. But let's see, shall we? I might get you off of there. Lefty Lucy. There we go. Okay. I'm going high. Uh, 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 uh. Get me a tripod, mate. All right, do you like these? What do you think of these small sections here where I'm like, I guess, finding the right equipment, setting it up? Do you like those in the video? Like, or would you prefer me to cut them out because they're just kind of a waste of time? Or do you like seeing like how I, I don't know, think through these things or just like maybe the peacefulness of it. I don't know. No, don't record. Stop. Ow. What are we doing? That twists that. Why? There we go. Why was that a thing? Tighten you up. Actually, this, this tripod, this is the old version. That is the new one. It's basically the same. It's same, same, but different. 
without going to the details right now, probably the, some of the best tripods out there. Senor, I recommendo. Let's not shoot from below. See, these are the small things. Like, if you shoot from below, it gives the viewer, like, it's meant to give the viewer a perception of, like, you're looking up to someone. And then I switch your mic to this one. Right? Oh, no. Did I stop that audio? I did, by accident. Audio part two, let's stop you for a second. I never, I don't claim to be a perfectionist. I'm so far from a perfectionist. But where there's an opportunity to have higher quality video, I don't need that for the moment. Like in this case, switching it to manual instead of having it just on auto. There's actually a trade off there. Like I use auto because I don't want to have to think about that when I just want to hit record. I don't care about the quality of it. But if I have the opportunity to control it and it's not that much of a hindrance, then I'll make that choice. Okay, all right. We are talking to you and bloody hell. Lift this table up. Shit on it. And then that way. We need some light. Hit. It's so dark outside. Like the back of the room just looks so dark. I'm gonna have to turn the light on. That. Let's go with that. That's better enough. Better enough, that's a lovely word. Like, looks so bad. Oh, bloody hell. That's why. I didn't realize this light was on so hard. Okay, talk to the camera, hi, hello. Go like this, go like this. Either way, I love a good long thing next to my mouth. Okay. Let's, let's try it, darling. All right, record. And record. Oh, gooey! Looks good. Vocals look good. Excuse me. Oh, what are those intros I had? Stupid boy. Oh, gosh. These are my Heelys, and I'm going to see if they're a cheat code for airport travel. Oh, gosh. These are Heelys. These are my Heelys, and I'm going to see if they are. They are a cheat code for airport travel. Yesterday I tried them for the first. That's me and Heelys trying to see if they're a cheat code. That's me in the corner in the Heelys trying to see if they are. A cheat code for air or travel. All right. Okay, we'll get back in. Come on, you wee imp. And record him.
I'm going to see if Heelys are a cheat code for airport travel. I'm going to see if air I'm going to see if Heelys are a cheat code for airport travel. I'm going to see if Heelys are a I'm going to see if Heelys are a cheat code for airport travel. No, you oh, dude, I kind of like it. I'm going to see if Heelys are a cheat code for airport travel. Nah, I don't I don't love this. I don't love it. Stop, it's a mess. I'm stopping this, I'm stopping the camera, which means I need a mic on you, and I'm stopping the screen recording. And I, I guess yours are still going. So, let's put that mic away. I need a mic on you. Why am I making this so difficult? Now, let me see what this audio sounds like. Hello, good sir. Fine day. It is here. I'm going to see if Heelys are a cheat code for airport travel. See that switch of character? Let's plug that in and see how it does. Ooh, very nice. One of the main reasons I switched from using that mic is because it covered up my shirt and I'm obviously trying to sell merch. Let's get back into this. Hi. I'm going again. I'm going to see if Heelys are a cheat code for airport travel. I'm going to see if Heelys are a cheat code for airport travel. I'm going to see if Heelys are a cheat. My confidence was so high that nothing would have stopped me. Yeah. Sorry. Now, we edit, let's turn off this light. Mate, what happened? It just went bloody cold. For no reason, absolutely no reason. All right, here's how I would normally do this. I would take the main clip and then I'm gonna cut up to just the bits that I want to keep. And then that is our base that we then stack clips on top of. So I'm just going to do this bit. I'm going to see if Heelys are a cheat code for airport travel. God, that sounds bad. I'm going to see if Heelys are a cheat code for airport travel. I'm going to see if Heelys are a cheat code for... Why does that sound so bad? Was not... It sounds so bad. See if they're a cheat code for airport travel. These are my Heelys, and I'm going to see if they're a cheat code for airport travel. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm going to see if they're a cheat code for airport Why does it sound like I just recorded that on my finger? I don't even know what this equalizer graph means. Let's go up on that. What does that mean? I'm going to see if Heelys are a cheat code for Good stuff. Brilliant. I think I'm going to have to record it again. It's just knee good. So bad. So bad. So let's delete. Sorry. You have got to go. I'm not going to delete you yet. I'm just going to record it on you. And then I'll just crop it. Okay, so let's stop. All right, here we go. The right settings, finally. I tried to see if... I tried to see if Heelys were a cheat code for airport travel. Nice! Okay, let's go... Go back to the spreadsheet. Okay, so the cheat code... Is there a cheat code for... That's me in Heelys trying to see if they're a cheat code. Okay, so we're probably at about 40... About 40 seconds at the moment of Yesterday footage. I tried them for the first time. Okay, so then we go back to the... Oh, wait, no. So here then, we're going to go into our f the first video, get some... 
Of us sliding. Okay. That's me in. So the sliding clip can. I don't, I don't remember where. But if I was going to spot, I got my wife's opinion. In here. That doesn't seem well. Yesterday I tried them for the first time, and after testing the technique of. Uh, so maybe a clip of me putting them on. One of the cool kids. Two thousand and six. Having them when you're thirty-three. Really, I certainly don't feel. No, let's do a clip of me falling over. Yeah. Tried them for the first time, and after testing, testing the technique, and after testing the tech, tried them for the first time, and after testing the technique of pretend, tried them for the first time, and after testing the technique. Okay, let's get you up there. Technique of pretending you're sliding in socks. I got my wife's opinion. And after testing the technique of pretending you're sliding in socks, I got. So then we can cut that there, get rid of you, and then. I reckon. So that I think is the point that we. What just happened? Okay. Weird. Which means here. Socks. I've got my wife's opinion. Hello, I'd like to check in for my flight, please. That's so far from cool. That's okay, I'm having fun. But if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I really needed to test myself. And then here we're going to get a clip of me getting ready at the airport. So that is the wrong video. We want the five. Yes. No. What am I doing? Travel day. Here we go. A73. It was all shot in ZV1. What am I doing? I've got this open. Let's go to, yeah, this area here. Right, very nice. But if I was going to. But if I was going to survive. But if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I really needed to test myself before healing in front of an audience and risking what lip. Okay. Yeah, let's just clip you there. And risking what little confidence I built up from yesterday. Um, so I think. But if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I think I grab these. So let's go there. But if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I really needed to. But if I was going to survive the airport with my bags. I really needed to test. I don't like that because it looks like I'm looking off at a script, even though the script was the other side. And I was trying to make it look like I was being casual. <laughs> but if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, myself. But if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, feeling good. Not going to you. Uh, 
audience and risking what little confidence they So let's get rid of that. I then want to do a clip of me. That's not the one. Let's do it here. Yes, dude. So let's close you down a little bit. I want to do a clip of me looking on shore here. Or healing in front of an audience and risking what little confidence I built up from yesterday. Let's do a clip of me like just considering. that and be clipped like that where it kind of looks like I'm unsure. Confidence I built up from yesterday. I remember the Oh gosh. Okay. With Healy Dude giving me a map. Did I jump straight into Healy Dude from there? Yeah, I did. So let's go. All right, first ride. Yeah. Let's do that bit. All right, first ride. What's up from yesterday? From yesterday. Let's get that. Into here. So then we do that and get that aligned. And then I'm going to get the audio down. All right, first ride. All right, first ride. I'm, I'm pro. I'm pro. Dude. I fucking feel me. Dude. All right, first ride. I'm pro. I'm. What's up from yesterday? All right, first ride. I'm pro. I'm pro. See here, I wonder if let's do it both ways. So let's detach the audio. Um, I don't want that there. I want you over here. And let's pretend. All right, first ride. All right, first ride. I'm pro. And actually, we'll just have more of this. All right, first ride. What am I doing? That needs to go here. All right, first ride. I'm pro. I'm pro. Dude. I fucking am, dude. You're fucking dude. First time, first time. I'm first time wearing them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rockin' Healy. That's shit, brother. Rockin' Healy. That's shit, brother. I'm pro. I'm first time wearing them. What? Yeah. Ooh, first time, first time wearing them. Dude, you're rocking. Dude, first time. <laughs> I'm rocking Healy. That's shit, brother. It's all bad. Have a good one. Okay. Look at me flipping cheese into myself. That was funny. I like that. I'm pro. I'm pro. I'm rocking Healy. That's shit, brother. It's all bad. Have a good one. And then we get to the next bit. So I think. I think that works better showing that I'm healing versus just talking to the camera. Alright, first ride. I'm pro. I'm pro. I'm rocking Healy. That's shit, brother. It's all bad. Have a good one. Okay. With Healy Dude give a massive confidence boost, I was able to put my fear of. Have a good one. 
With Healy Dude giving me a massive confidence boost, I was able to put my fear of falling aside. And yes, and then it will have me in the airport. Let's do that clip there. Maybe. But that confidence became arrogance, and the Heelys put me right back in my... And then we should be going down the hill there on that bit. Okay. Giving me a massive confidence boost, I was able to put my fear of falling aside. I... that bit there being aside and healy in front of the and healy in front of the huge queues for security Don't need that bit. I don't know what I'm going to do with that bit. Maybe I don't know. But that confidence became arrogance. In front of the huge cube. That should be. There should be the right clip in there. For security, but that. So let's go shorter on that one so that you can see me. But that confidence became arrogance. I think I need to trim that more as I get into this bit of going down this slope. It's like we're gonna take me. Oh, it's a hill. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna stop here? Yep. It's like we're gonna take the Heelys off. Bummer. Oh, it should do. Hopefully, I'll win. yeah, it is. Yeah. Did I delete that other clip? No, maybe that and that. As I fell at my gate, surrounded by. Um. Oh, what clips do I have? Where I fell over. anymore as an adult it's annoying as a kid think about what other people think of me all right let me explain right now i was on my way three eight two one is what i'm looking for that's the clip all right we're going down here just pull you in cut move over Surrounded by all the people I would spend the next eight hours. So that clip there, I don't know. My place as I fell at my gate. Yes, I don't think we need. I actually might want to use one of those clips for the beginning. Where's the main part? Here? Confidence became arrogance, and the Heelys put me right back in my place as I fell at my gate, surrounded by all the people I would spend the next eight hours with. I spent my whole flight questioning if I should keep practicing. I spent my whole flight questioning if I should keep practicing. The next eight hours with. I spent my whole flight. I need to manipulate this audio. I would spend the next eight hours with. I spent my whole flight questioning if I should keep practicing. 
what I would spend the next eight hours. So this needs to sit into here. Questioning if I should keep practicing or just give up. But with Healy, yes. But with Healy, Healy dude going rough. Let's get this dude back. <laughs> but with Healy dude going round and round in my head, my confidence was so high that I wasn't about. Yes, dude. This is sweet. I like this. Um. Okay. So this section here. I was just around in my head. My confidence was so high that I wasn't about to quit. Oh my good. <laughs> All right, this guy doesn't know it. Over here, red bag. But I'm racing him. Okay, this guy doesn't know it. I'm racing him and I'm winning. And I'm destroyed him. Destroyed him. Absolutely destroyed him. Absolutely destroyed him. I don't know if I need a clip of that yet. Dude, I like this. It's coming together. This guy doesn't know it, but I'm racing him, and I'm. I was so high that I wasn't about to quit. That I wasn't about to quit. All right, this guy doesn't know it, but I'm racing him, and I'm winning. Absolutely destroyed him. But I'm racing him. All right, this guy doesn't know it, but. Where's the red backpack bit? Maybe I don't need that. Let's kill you off. But I'm racing him and I'm winning. I'm racing him. Absolutely destroyed him. That is it. One minute fifteen is where we're at. Let's give it a quick. Oh. Yeah, it'll be just over a minute. I tried to see if Healy's were a cheat code for airport travel. I'm going to see if Healy's are a cheat code for airport travel. These are I tried to see if Healy's were a cheat code for airport travel. These are my Healy's, and I'm going to see if they're a cheat code for airport. That's me in Healy's trying to see if they're a cheat code for airport travel. I like the first and last. That's me in Healy's trying to see if they're a cheat code for airport travel. I was able to put my I was able to put my fear of falling aside. I like that clip. I think I need a clip of... That's me and Healy's seeing if they're a cheat code for airport travel. So a shot of me and Healy's. Maybe I do that clip. That's me in Healy's trying to see if they're he's trying please trying to see if they're a cheat code for uh, that's me in Healy's. That's me in Healy's. And then other clips. Let's go back to here. Maybe a shot of me on the flight. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's turn down the volume in that one. 
trying to see if they're a cheat. See if they're a cheat code for. And then. What other clips do we have? Oh yeah, me in queue at the airport. This one. Uh, that one's no good. Actually. Because that is really smooth. We like that a lot. Um, for airport travel. Yes, sir. Let's see. Yeah. I tried to see if Healy's were a cheat code for airport, airport travel. That's me in Healy's trying to see if they're a cheat code for airport travel. Yesterday I tried them for the first time, and after testing the technique of pretending you're sliding in socks, I got my wife's opinion. I got my wife's opinion. Hello, I'd like to check in for my flight, please. Hello, I'd like to check in for my flight, please. That's so far from cool. That's okay, I'm having fun. That's okay, I'm having fun. But if I was going to survive the airport... Okay, I need to adjust the audio of all of these clips because it's straight up duty poops. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Uh, no, up four, yeah, I'll do. That's me in Healy's trying to see if they're a cheat code for airport travel. Yesterday I tried them for... Fast going on here. Just realized that I changed. This should be a what? Modify. Vertical. And now that's me in Healy's trying to see if the Yesterday I tried them for the first time, and after testing the tent and then you're sliding in socks, I got my wife's opinion. With my bags, I with my bags, whoops. I really needed to test myself before healing in front of an audience and risking. And risking what little confidence I built up. And yes. All right, first ride. I'm pro. All right, I'm pro. I'm pro. I'm rocking healing. <laughs> So this one may not need to be. With Healy dude giving me a. Healy dude, dude. All right, let's put the. Okay, three seventeen and get. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I love it when you don't work. Stabilizer. A massive confidence boost. I was able to... I wonder why some of those clips just fit. ...by all the people back in my place as I fell at my gate, surrounded by all the people I would spend the next... ...as I fell at my gate, surrounded by all... 
so the heelys put me right back in my place as I fell at my gate surrounded by all the hmm. okay, place as I fell at my gate surrounded by all the people I would spend the next eight hours with Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, cut you off the people I would spend the get you off the I spent my whole flight question I spent my whole flight question eight hours with I spent my whole flight questioning if I should keep practicing or just give up but with Healy dude going round and round Healy dude my boy where are you mate where are you mate where's the clipper there we are you big sausage but with my confidence was so high that I wasn't about to quit. I love when one of these videos gives me like a, a good feeling. I just love it. All right, this guy doesn't know it, but I'm racing him. Absolutely destroyed him. I tried to see if Healy's were a cheat code for airport travel. That's me in Healy's trying to see if they're a cheat code for airport travel. Yesterday, I tried them for the first time, and after testing the technique of pretending you're sliding in socks, I got my wife's opinion. Hello, I'd like to check in for my flight, please. That's so far from cool. Well, it's okay, I'm having fun. But if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I really needed to test myself before healing in front of an audience and risking what little confidence I'd built up from yesterday. All right, first ride. I'm pro. I'm pro. I'm right in Healy. That one's going to be bigger. Small little tricks. Mm, like the same for this one here. don't know but with healy dude going round and round in my head my confidence was so healy's put me right back in my place as i fell at my gate surrounded by all the people i would spend the next eight hours back in my place in the next eight hours with i think there should be a, a slight break in here a slight pause right at my gate surrounded by all the people I would spend the night fell at my gate surrounded by all the might be need to be longer a gate surrounded by all the people a gate surrounded by all the people I would spend the next eight hours with I spent my whole flight questioning if I should then that makes me think that I don't need the pause then in there hours with I spent my whole flight questioning if I should keep practicing or just give up I spent my whole flight questioning if I should keep practicing or just give up. But with Healy Dude going round and round, I should keep practicing. I flight questioning if I should keep practicing or just give up. But with Healy Dude questioning if I should keep practicing hours with. I spent my whole flight questioning if I should keep practicing or just give up. But with Healy Dude going round and round in my head, my confidence was so high that I wasn't about to quit. All right, this guy doesn't know it, but I'm racing him. Okay, we like that. We like that a lot. So I'm going to open up because I deleted. Uh, I keep a, a template editing file, program, whatever you call it, so that whenever I make a new video, I have all the sound effects with their appropriate effects added to them. But I deleted them for the last video. Or did I? Or did I? I didn't. I didn't. You are a smart sausage, Oliver. you over that's 
That's me in Healy's trying to see if they're a cheat code for airport travel. I tried to see if Healy's were a cheat code for airport travel. Still undecided as to which is the best. If I'm quite honest with you. But let's just go with what we have for now. Wait, I don't need all those, I just want the audio. Travel. That's me in Healy's trying to see if they're a cheat code for airport travel. Yesterday I tried them for the first time, and after testing the technique of pretending you're sliding in socks, I got my wife's opinion. Nope, what have I done? But here we go down. Oh, I hate that. A low pass, we will add a keyframe, and then when we get to here, it's going to be back down. It's going to be down here. Wife's opinion. Hello, I'd like to check in for my flight, please. So far from cool. That's okay. So far from. So far from cool. That's okay. I'm having fun. But if I was going to survive the airport. Don, bro. It needs to scoop back up. So select. Uh, add keyframe. Go forward a bit, a little bit. Maybe to there. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling right now. That's what it's getting to me. Well, that's okay. I'm having fun. But if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I really needed to test myself before healing in front of an audience and risking what little confidence I built up from yesterday. All right, first ride. Confidence I built up from yesterday. from yesterday. All right, first ride. I'm pro. I'm pro. Oh. Top from yesterday. All right, first ride. I'm pro. I'm pro. I'm rocking Healy's. <laughs> Thanks, brother. It's all bad. Have a good one. I need to change the audio on that, annoyingly. <laughs> Top doo-doo, brother. It's all bad. Have a good one. With Healy dude giving me a massive... So let's go here, edit this beauty, and go back to here. Maybe stick it down. I don't know what I'm doing. I built up from yesterday. All right, first ride. I'm pro. I'm pro. I rock in Healy. That's <laughs> shit, brother. It's all bad. Have a good one. With Healy dude giving me a massive comp. It's all bad. Have a good one. With Healy dude giving. Have a good one. With Healy dude. I think that should be a plus. It's all bad. Have a good one. With Healy dude giving me a massive confidence boost, I was able to put my fear of falling aside and Healy in front of the huge queues for security. But that confidence. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Huge cues for security. But that confidence became arrogance, and the Healy's put me right back in my place as I fell at my gate, surrounded by people. And then there, I need an impact sound, that one will do. As I fell at my gate surrounded by all the people I would spend the next eight hours with. I spent my whole flight questioning if I should keep practicing or just give up. But with Healy Dude going... Bruv. Yes. Okay, let's cut you there. And now I'm going to get the climax part of this song. music. This Audi. Here it is. Kill all of that. 
zucchini dude going round and round in my head. I'm gonna be going round and round. And I'm gonna slight questioning if I should keep practicing or just give up. But with Heedy dude going round and the next eight hours with. I spent my whole flight questioning if I should keep practicing or just give what if that finishes there? In my head, my confidence was so high that I wasn't about to quit. Alright, this guy doesn't know it, but I'm racing him. And then you, sir, go back to the beginning so that when it loops, it might work. The people I would spend the next eight hours with. I spent my whole flight questioning if I should keep practicing. Did you want to turn it on? Yeah. If you wake up, though, I don't want it like you're soon. Go, shh, be quiet, be quiet. If he wakes up soon. Okay. So you're suggesting I try lying down with him? Yeah. Okay. All right. Enjoy your run. Or just give up. But with Heedy Dude going round and round in my head, my confidence was so high that I wasn't about to quit. All right. This guy doesn't know it, but I'm racing him. Absolutely destroyed him. I tried to see if Heelys were a cheat code for airport travel. That's me in Heelys trying to see if they're a cheat code for airport travel. Okay, let's throw this up here. That there. And then... I tried to see if Heelys were a cheat code. I'm just testing the intro now. I tried to see if Heelys were a cheat Cheat code for airport travel. I tried to see if Heelys were a cheat code for airport travel. Yesterday I tried them for the first time, and after testing the technique of pretending you're sliding in socks, I got my wife's opinion. Okay. Yesterday I Heelys were a cheat code for airport travel. Yesterday I tried them for the first time, and after testing the technique of pretending you're sliding in socks, I got my wife's opinion. Hello, I'd like to check in for my flight, please. That's so far from cool. That's okay, I'm having fun. But if I see you. But if I was going to survive the airport, that's okay. I'm having fun. But if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I really needed. I'd like to check in for my. Hello. I'd like to check in for my flight, please. That's so far from cool. I got my wife's opinion. Hello. I'd like to check in for my flight, please. That's so far from cool. That's okay. I think that one should go in there instead. I think let's try it. That's so far from cool. That's okay, I'm having fun. But if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I really needed to test myself before he. Oh, I just deleted. Meow. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. We'll just pretend that never happened. But if I was going to survive the airport with but if I was going to survive and a little bit early. But if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I really needed to test myself before healing in front of an audience and risking what little confidence I see in front of an audience and risking what little confidence I built up from yesterday. Alright, first ride. Got the same sound effect twice. Awesome. Damn, 45 minutes. 
that's okay, I'm having fun. But if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I really needed to test myself before healing in front of an audience and risking what little confidence I'd built up from yesterday. All right, first ride. I'm pro. I'm pro. I'm rocking Healy. That's so far from cool. That's okay, I'm having fun. But if I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I really needed to test myself before healing in front of an audience and risking what little confidence I'd built up from yesterday. All right, first ride. I'm pro. I'm pro. I'm rocking Healy. That's it, brother. It's all bad. Have a good one. With Healy Dude giving me a massive confidence boost, I was able to put my fear of falling aside and Healy in front of the huge queues for security. But that confidence became arrogance, and the Healy's put me right back in my place as I fell up in front of the huge queues for security. But that... <laughs> Hold on, Duda. Need a change of tone there. Good girl, you coming? Good girl. Good girl, Duda. For security, but that confidence became arrogance, and the Heelys put me right back in my place as I fell at my gate, surrounded by all the people I would spend the next eight hours with. I spent my whole flight questioning if I should keep practicing or just give up. But we. <laughs> Or just give up. But with Healy Dude going round and round in my head, my confidence was so high that I wasn't about to quit. All right, this guy doesn't. Okay, now I think we just look at doing a few retention things. All right, are you ready for this? We're gonna just do some retention editing. Let me decide on the intro first for there. And after testing the technique of pretending you're sliding in sock, I'm gonna survive the airport with my back. It's a test. Okay, I think here we need to we crop in. So as we get to here, we are in and across. And then get rid of the smoothness. I really needed to test myself before healing in front of an audience and risking what little confidence. And then from here we'll go out to in. So it's zoomed out there. There, come in, and we'll put that at 317. Built up from yesterday. Right, bro. I'm rocking Healy. That's <laughs> it, brother. It's all bad. Have a good one. With Healy dude giving me Yeah, dude. All right. Get some stabilizer in here. I stopped using these a while ago because I got this comment on Instagram of someone like, oh God, not the face tracking effect. But honestly, this type of thing, I never saw any drops when this, like in retention, so people didn't drop off the video when I had this face tracker effect on. With Healy Dude giving me... Right, let's crop in. Excuse me. A massive confidence boost. I was able to put my fear of falling aside and Healy in front of the huge queues for security. But that confidence became arrogance, and the Healy's put me right back in my place as I fell at my gate, surrounded by all the people I would spend the next eight hours with. I spent my whole flight questioning if I should keep practicing. Yeah, yeah, get the track in it's on. Stick it on his nose because it's, it's huge. Support data, confirm. Ooh, jinkies. If I should keep practicing or just give up. If I should keep practice or just give up. But with Healy Dude going round and round in my head that I wasn't about to quit. All right, this I think that's it. Now I need to decide on the intro. I tried to see if Healy's were a cheat code for airport travel. Yesterday I tried them for the first time. Please, that's me in Healy's code for air. That's me in Healy's trying to see if they're a cheat code for airport travel. See, now I feel like I just don't need all of that. I think I just can just do it with this. I tried to see if Healy's were a cheat code for airport travel.
I tried to see if Healy's were a cheat code for airport traffic. See if Healy's were a cheat. Tried to see if he. I tried to see if Healy's were a cheat code for airport traffic. I think that one. I think that's the one we go with, and then I'm going to go do. that go to the end and we're gonna crop in and across yeah yeah i tried to see if healy's were a cheat code for airport travel then do i crop in here i'm feeling like just a cheeky little crop in nothing special you know cheat code for air nine this should be 317 so I think I'm going to start cropped in because then we get this vertigo effect as we zoom back out to 317 so cheat code for airport travel you're an idiot it's the other way around We just need to do 317 here. Cheat code for airport travel. Wait, if that's all going backwards. Cheat code for airport. No, you, you flipping donut. 317. The beginning should be zoomed in. Cheat code for airport travel. Yesterday I tried them for the first time, and after testing the technique of pretending you're sliding in socks, I got my wife's opinion. Hello, I'd like to check in for my flight, please. If I was going to survive the airport with my bags, I really needed to test myself before healing in front of an audience and risking what little confidence I built up from yesterday. I need another another sound effect, a riser. Here, SFX, riser, medium-ish. It's a bit much. Try that one. Risking what little confidence I built up from yesterday. All right, first. What's up from yesterday? All right, first ride. I'm fro. Okay. Damn it! I hate when I do that. Yes, yes. I hate resetting it back to this default view. Get rid of you as well, and then. I'm pro. I'm rocking Healy. That's it, brother. That's it, the audio. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. What sound effect should I put in there? What's a funny sound effect? I don't know, fart noise? Nope, that's not fun. 32 years old. Why would I think a fart noise is funny? I am going to look for it though. So. Put the Discord notification in there. I'm honestly, I'm not putting this in as like a hack so people feel like they need to go and check their Discord, but I'm putting it in as like people know what the Discord notification is and it's a message that he's getting across. Giving me a yeah, then okay. penultimate spot, which is turn off the that audio 
and we're going to go with wait is captioning i'm working on so at this point i now what am i trying to say i put a green screen over the top export this and then i use that to throw into CapCut to get captions for a free app, Capcut is amazing. Oh dear. One minute, three seconds. All right. Going to get that TikTok creativity program, Beta Plus. I don't know. I don't know what the name of the program is. <laughs> Shut up. There we go. New project. Get the clip. Add in. Text. Auto captions. No. Start. My heels are hurting from standing all day. Batch edit, select, select all, edit. What font are we going to use? I've been using a weird one. I used Oliver for the longest time for obvious reasons. Then I switched to a weird one. What was it called? Permanent marker it is. Effects. We don't want effects, we want the animation of caption and we use spring. That, it's my wife talking, so we'll change it to pink. Gucci, Gucci. That word was brada, and the next word was top man. Not two man, top man. That's okay, I didn't want to actually edit it anyway. What the frick are you doing? The font of that one, and it's not that, it's going to be style, and he's going to be blue. He loves a good blue, that guy. Gosh. CapCut, do you not know Healy's? I need to check the spelling of that earlier. I guess I may have missed that. All right, let's get that off and sent back to here. Stick it on top, and then we can export the whole thing. So I mentioned the other day that it's a good idea to film this, you know, make the edit and then wait a day so you can review it later. But I'm under the gun a bit with the new posters I have coming up that I can't really change the deadline on. So I want to get at least one out beforehand. All right, get the green screen, oh, mask and keying, green screen keyer there. I tried to see if Healy's were cheap. Let's get that up a little bit code for airport travel. Yesterday I tried them for the first time. Uh, beautiful. So let's get these all back up and then there's one bit of audio I need to change. Yes. All right. Done. Let's export that to the phone. Who's that weirdo? Oh yeah, it's a, this is the microphone. Can you say microphone receiver? <laughs> What do you want? Can you use your words? Mm. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. What do you wait? Up, oh, be careful. That could be ouchies. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing, you weirdo? <laughs> oh, can you give Duda a pet? Yeah, ouchies. Can you give Duda a pet? Can you pet Duda? Wait, where's Duda? Where's Duda? <gasps> Can you pet her? Oh, that was a very nice one. Um, I would always recommend, recommend, <laughs> watching your video on your phone before you post it. Always sounds different. I find the caption process is really weird with TikTok. Like it, it's becoming a certain search engine, but it's not. And then the video gets put to a certain audience depending on what's in the title. I don't know. Uh, I tried. Healy's at the airport to see if they were a cheat code. Yeah, let's go with that. I actually have my own hashtag I've been using, which is odd side quest. 
um, I have I have plans for the future. Like, I guess I can't really talk about them too much now. But games that people would then use this hashtag and to see everything that's going on, you would go to this hashtag. But I do plan on working on those things. I think after the next week or two, once I catch up, I'll start working on those again. All right, I am in a bit of a pickle. I don't really like to work at weekends. Are you on? You are. I don't really like to work at weekends. I think that's like dedicated family time. But the cool thing is, the cool thing is <laughs> that uh, I can chop and change days. So like, I'm gonna have to work some Saturday morning and Sunday morning, but then I'll just take time off next week. It's just the way, the way that my wife and I have sorted out sharing responsibilities in the house. But I have to do that because of a deadline. So tomorrow we're going to be, we'll complete the first part of the chewing gum video, like US gum versus UK gum. We'll do the UK one there. And then if the script gets approved tonight, then we'll do the paid, oh gosh, we'll do the paid one tomorrow. I'm going to have to do both of them tomorrow because that goes live on the 8th. Oh man. Yeah, at this rate, we've only got 24 hours to get it done. All right, I'm gonna have a chat with my manager, see what he says. And we'll go from there. All right, well, I think that's it for this video. Uh, lots of it, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've barely drunk any water today.